So we're getting a lot of questions from customers on carbon footprint, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One is we have a reporting system called the Carbon Disclosure Project, and that requires our customers to report their entire carbon footprint of their enterprise. So not just what happens in their facilities and from the vehicles that they're driving, but also from everything that they purchase, including our products. So everything that they purchase is part of our customers' scope three carbon emissions. So that's something that they have to quantify and report into this big framework called the Carbon Disclosure Project. So we're being asked by customers to give them information on the carbon footprint associated with our products to be able to help them do carbon disclosure project or CDP reporting as part of their scope three emissions. It's really important that we engage our customers on this topic because it can get a little bit tricky. So in the carbon footprint reporting framework, we can give our customers carbon footprint data on a per SKU basis. So if they buy one case of JFIL glance, there's a carbon footprint associated with the production, all the chemicals, all the packaging to create that. There's a carbon footprint associated with that. And we can tell them what that is. But if you compare the carbon footprint of that case versus a case of ready to use glance, you'll see that the concentrated product has a much greater carbon footprint than the ready to use. Now, if you reverse this and instead look at the amount of product necessary to clean one mirror, now you'll see that the concentrate has a much, much lower carbon footprint. So a lot of times we get asked the question by our customers, hey, what's the carbon footprint of this product? And we have to help them understand that concentrates versus ready to use, the footprint of the case versus the footprint associated with one square foot of, of surface cleaned. So we take them on this journey to help them understand it and then can provide them accurate data on carbon footprinting.